Hey guys and gals, today I'll be talking about an another Z grade ho horror movie. And um, also, I just want to make a little announcement for a few things. You know what? I might review more Z grade horror movies now on this channel because, you know, when you review so much stuff commercialized and B horror or a anything in the genre of B horror, I mean, B, B movies in general, you know, it's like you, you gotta do something different, you know? And it's not my first foray on Z grade reviewing Z, Z grade horror because I reviewed a few of them though. You know, I did review a few of them. Just watch every video I possibly done so far when it comes to the, comes to the movie reviewing part of me. You know, <laughs> but um, besides that, um, maybe one day I could do a playlist and try and organize it. But due to time in, I I more progress with my videos. You know, I just constantly come up videos because you know if I have something to talk about, you talk about it. Um, besides that, um, also I just want to mention that. Somebody contacted me. I don't know if it's a director or somebody behind the movie of um, Supernatural Tales Grindhouse Edition. My opinion still stands. That movie sucks. I hated it. But um, I'm, I'm glad that I presume the director. I, I'm glad you understand my my opinion of the movie. You know. And hey, he commented his link on it. And if you guys want to check check that movie out for a dollar ninety nine and to at your own risk. You know. Like I say, I'm not like other YouTubers that like gonna suck on independent horror movie companies just to get a free DVD or free Blu-ray or free screen or copy and pretend that the movie is good just to have them send me more free shit you know and there are YouTubers out there that do it um there is one YouTuber that keeps it real all the, t all the time when it comes to independent horror or even I think he reviews some of the great horror to himself and that's Mr. Parker so I advise everyone if you if you see these independent horror movies being heavily promoted on Amazon.com, check out Mr. Parker's review first before you buy. Um, by the way, his opinion is his opinion. You may not like what he likes. You may not like what he don't like. Um, for example, I love the movie Wolf Cop. I highly enjoyed it. I would like to see a sequel to it. His opinion was more kind of like negative towards Wolf Cop. So again, you can tell he's very honest. You know, so. That's what, what makes Mr. Parker great. So ch I highly advise you check him out. Just type Mr. Parker on YouTube search bar and you'll find some of his videos. Subscribe to his channel. Um, besides that, let's talk about another Z grade horror. And this is from 1991. It's called Alien Beast. And you know what? Like again, don't expect great production value or nothing. But I like this movie. I, I thought the first time I came across it just now, it's actually just now. I went to the Balik DVD. Website to buy, buy more unknown movies and shit. And I just came across like some two disc collector set. And I think it's gonna be high definition remastered. I think. I mean, just go to the Balik DVD. Just type that on a, on any search bar. And um, they sell a two disc set, right? A guy named Carl Silwes Jr. I can't say the guy's name right. I'm bad with names. I always keep on saying it because it's true. I'm bad with names. But um, he um, it looked like they could direct, have a two disc set, right? One is called Indian Beast and one is called Mutant Massacre Part 2. So I asked myself, why don't you make it a three disc set and add in Mutant Massacre Part 1? Well, anyway, that's how I came across and I, I typed YouTube, you know, because I want to see this shit for free, man. Come on. So it, it was on YouTube for free. And cause you, guys, I know you're going to hit on YouTube right away once I talk about this movie. And this movie's about what it looked like to me. Okay, first it's, it's done with regular camera, you know. Special effects is very, very old school, like amateur special effects for its time. Now we have the internet, we have Windows Movie Maker, we have a Quora, we have all these software effects to do our own Z grade hardware with, a little, uh, with, with much more better updates. Doesn't mean it's gonna be great. It doesn't, so don't get the wrong idea. It might be good, it might be great, depending on how, how you do your work or how much money you spend, you know. Because spending money does make a difference. Unless you want to spend a lot of money on the actors to take their tops off, but then you take all your special effects of blood and gore and whatever you want to add in. But you could do that cheap too, in a way, if you think about it. Again, spending a little bit more money. Um, besides that, it's like I say, it's done with like a regular camera. Remember, it's 1991. Um, the movie will look like it's like radiation agents are taking over the world. They they beating up on the humans that want to defend their world pretty much and this is what it looked like to me 
and then the alien agents also have like alien invaders and it's so very low budget um, so it's, it's like I said it's Z-Gray it's very cheap like I don't know how much money he spent I mean I wonder if he spent a little bit more money because one of the girls who gets killed later on becomes an alien agent um, gets topless there's even a molest molested she scene with her which is kind of crazy it looked like a ninja is going to molest an alien I don't know guys you gotta you gotta see this shit to understand um you have fight scenes like I don't know if this guy tried to do his own version of all combat but you have two humans fighting a ninja two humans fighting like a um guy in a gas mask um you have the alien agent find find the humans so you get like you're like your more combat street fighter z grade scene it's not and it's and the fight scenes are not even great either. I don't think he was going to go for greatness. I think he just wanted to shoot a movie. But it was horrible fight scene. It was like, like I think I could probably do a better martial arts scene than that, you know. And, and I mean, that's below z grade level and what I'm talking about, what I would be doing. But still, I mean, it's so shitty. And, and the movie is mainly like mostly commentary over his own movie. And you see a little bit of, I, I guess you can see a little bit of acting. But I, I mean, I still like it for what it is because, you know, it's like, at least he's stuck with the plot. At least he's not like throwing scenes in there like like how the like the, the other movies just mentioned, Supernatural Tales. Like those, like, I mean, scenes that don't make no sense. Um, I presume I can understand some parts of the movie when there's like light beams, pictures that are still, and he's dubbing voices over it, you know? Um, <laughs> this is the scene that I mentioned with the female alien agent when the woman beca becomes an alien monster. Uh, she gets topless in one scene trying to steal weapons, and it's like she's like playing with herself, you know, like like you know, rubbing, rubbing her boobs and, and shit like that. See, like looking at the gun. You see her like holding, um, playing with nunchucks topless, and and she's horrible at it too. She's definitely not a professional martial artist, which is pretty obvious. Um. The alien monsters are like, I don't know, it's like cheap looking, of course, but it's like, they, they, I mean, hard to see them, maybe because of the camera work at the time, I guess. But, um, again, we, I mean, at that time, you gotta go, you gotta understand what the time is, like 91 or in the 80s. So, like, like an average guy like me would probably use, like, a reg of course, like a regular camera, like an 8mm um, camera, like, you know? Um,. Um, shit, I, I don't know how to say it, but I don't want to spoil too much because I really did enjoy this movie. I really did, and yeah, it was stupid at the same time. But like I say, you, you'll pick up on it fast. Um, if this like, when you get towards the ending, like there is an awesome scene in the movie with stop motion animation, like with clay animation and drawing stop motion animation style, which I enjoyed. You know, I, I understand what was going on. Um. Alien Beast from 1991, I say check it out, definitely check it out, um, remember, be open-minded about it, and um, let me just say, expect more mostly great stuff coming here, uh, anyway, peace guys, see you later.